Hello comic fans. I got something in the mail today. We're gonna find out what it is. I think I know. Came today. It was stuffed lovingly in the mailbox. Uh, I'm not gonna show the other side because it has an address. We're gonna open up this lovely package. I think it might have something to do with comic books. I don't know. I'm gonna find out. This is a nice cardboard packaging. Seems pretty well taped. If I can get this side open. There we go. And what could it be? Oh, look at that. Let's turn it that way. Gemini! <laughs> it's a, uh, yes, Gemini mailer. Perfect, perfect. Generic. So we have, well, if I can get this out of there. Well, sorry for that blip. I don't know why, but the recording stopped and missed my entire, well, second half of the recording, I guess. So we're back to it. Uh, this was taped in, but I managed to get it untaped. And we're going to pull it out. Now, this was actually attached as well. So I just wanted to point out that uh, when I pulled it out of here, it actually was backed with cardboard. Perfect, perfect. Exactly what you want to see. Uh, yeah, and, uh, and unfortunately, I don't know why, but the, the recording stopped. So came backed uh, and boarded and uh, in, a, in a nice plastic sleeve. So I just wanted to show those again. Um, unfortunately, I don't know what, what happened there, but here we are. So we're going to do this little mini review <laughs> again. Uh, and here it is. It's Vestry 2. Vestry number 2 by Jacob Sebesta, artist, and Dylan Clark, the writer. And inside is a little black and white ash can that came with it. Vestry, the Eye of Moltstein. My writer Dylan Clark and artist Jacob Sebesta, otherwise known as My Pickles and Shabby on Twitter and YouTube. So just wanted to point out that uh, because it was so lovingly packed and even taped to the Gemini mailer, it's absolutely perfect. There's no blemishes, no wrinkles or folds. This is also 100% perfect. It's a little hard to see on camera, but especially with the black border, but trust me, I'm looking at it and there's absolutely, it's in mint condition. So every corner is absolutely perfect. May not last, <laughs> it may not be that way forever under my care, but it came that way, came in perfect condition. This is a beautiful back cover by Miss, uh, Miss Sashi. Wonderful, wonderful back cover of the purple girl. Let's go through this real quick. This is the, uh, black and white ash can that I also got with it. It's a little side story about Damon uh, that I look forward to reading through. So that, that I believe, uh, yeah, I specifically uh, paid for that on Indiegogo. And then this is Vestry number two. And first thing, just like the original, have a map of the world of Vestry. And I was telling Shabby, you know, what would be cool is either uh, in the next one, either in addition to this or as a replacement to zoom in specifically on um, exactly where on Vestry most of the story takes place. So that, because I imagine there's probably little hamlets and points of interest and such, you know, if you zoomed into a certain area, might be interesting to see exactly where the story is taking place. So I'll just have to find out in reading it where on Vestry this is taking place. But we start out with uh, some people in a purple cave. Uh, actually, I believe I skipped a page. Yeah, 500 years ago. I don't know if that's 500 years before Vestry 1 and 2 take place and there's a flashback. I'm not sure. But here we have Vestry 
created by Dylan Clark and Jacob Sebesta, written by Dylan, art letters by Jacob, back cover art by Sashi Perdigal. Brought to you by Comic Sense Distribution. Excellent, excellent. They did, they did a great job. Distributed, distributed it to me in perfect condition. So, uh, as you can see, this is uh, it's very colorful. It's a very colorful book. There's a lot of there's some some scenes that are sort of bathed in this purple glow, uh, and somewhere you know they're outside, and you can sort of tell it's either it's either dawn or dusk here. So the color's a little bit more muted, but uh, there's a lot of action. It's a, it's sort of a you know it's a fantasy adventure setting, sword and sorcery. And then uh, check this out. I guess Damon is talking to the purple girl, and he asks what his name is, and he says, "I am Damon." <laughs> and he looks very um, epic, I guess you could say like lightning coming out of his eyes and everything. But I guess it, just as he's saying that, he's being attacked by this big giant monster. This goes thud, thud, thud. So yeah, some, well, it's a lot of action. I mean, it's, this is an action-packed, definitely a, a manly adventure, although he looks like he's getting slapped there. <laughs> Has a nice, I don't know what, what happens in the end there, but uh, there's some mystery at the end. And then, uh, again, Lovely back cover by Miss Sashi. There it says Sashi 2020. Excellent. Good job, guys. This came to me in perfect condition. Like I said, there's the ash can. And I hope this uh, hope this video doesn't end up too choppy because for some reason, like I said, right as I was uh, unpacking it, it, for some reason the video stopped. So I had to sort of redo part of this. But there it is, World of Vestry. Great, great job, guys. Again, my pickles and shabby on Twitter. And this is available right now, actually, I think with some uh, alternate covers as well on Kickstarter. So the Indiegogo wrapped up, uh, but you can still get it on Kickstarter. So definitely check that out. Uh, I'm sure they'd appreciate it. And if you're watching this, if you like this kind of content, please hit the like button. And, uh, you know, if, if I've earned it, please uh, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. So that you can uh, see some more videos like this that are hopefully, uh, com you know, don't didn't have to be spliced together quite as much. <laughs> but I appreciate you watching and have a great day. It's Pestry number two. See ya.